Hey guys, welcome back to the Mago YouTube channel. In this review, we're going to compare 12 different grow lights um, for their suitability for a four foot by two foot grow setup. That's 120 by 60 centimeters. Nice size grow tent, fits four uh, medium sized plants in it and is probably sufficient for most people for personal consumption. It'll fit against the wall in a living room or bedroom or into an alcove quite neatly. It's not too deep. Uh, you can reach all the plants easily inside. It's got, um, you can fully open the front and get really good access in there. In terms of lighting, you need probably somewhere around 250 watts um 200 to 300 watt range for this size to get um what we target as about 800 micromoles or so seven to eight hundred micromoles per meter square per second that's a light intensity or a power intensity that's enough to maximize the um the potential yield from that space you can go higher but um, you do get a decreasing return the more light you put into the tent in any case there are, as I said, there's 12 different models I have tested to choose from. There are other models available, but I haven't tested them, so I'm not showing them in these reviews. Time for the glasses. So I've got my report here. I'll throw it up there just for a minute so you can, uh, you can have a look and see what's coming up. Um, the comparison here is done on the basis of uh, all these, trying to equalize these lights and so the cost per fixture is based on how many fixtures would be required to deliver 750 micromoles and that's uh, done by fixture for, as the fixture cost and then we then add the three-year electric electricity cost which is to run that amount of grow light uh, sufficient to deliver 750 micromoles over three years and that's calculated, calculated at a 14 hour per day at 17 cent per kilowatt hour. So the total three year cost is on the right hand side and that's what I filtered and ordered this list in. So let's start. Uh, first one is Chilled Growcraft. American made light, very nice build quality, extremely good efficiency, highest quality components used. Um, and in this case, it's the second highest efficiency of any grow light I've ever tested at 2.68, extremely good. Unfortunately, the price is also very high. So this is really a niche light for those who want the ultimate in terms of efficiency. And they're gonna do that uh, no matter what the cost because the payback period doesn't really um, make much sense. Uh, certainly over three years, you could double it. It still would be um, the most expensive light there. After that, uh, Fate Electric, uh, this one was of interest to me because it was requested a lot. They sell a lot of units in the US um, on home base. It's a 175 watt light, which is a little bit underpowered, uh, but um, I tested in the 4x2 anyway. Uh, quite expensive in terms of cost per watt, right up there, and the poorest efficiency on the list, so not, not really worth considering. Spider Farmer SF2000 is just behind me here and I uh, just tested it in their um, kit with the grow tent etc. It's uh, 200 watts so again on the lower end in terms of wattage, um, 2.05 efficiency which is on the lower end um, and $300. So I don't really understand for Spider Farmer they're usually um, a better value from that. In this case they are if we put uh, Chill Growcraft aside, they're the second highest cost per watt and not the best efficiency. So basic light does everything it's supposed to. So it's full spectrum dimming, all that stuff. But uh, as I said, it's a little bit uh, pricey for its um, performance. Next one is Baba Green. I tested the 260 watt version, but I've since gone back when I was verifying the prices. I tested it about a year ago, a little bit over. And uh, it's showing 240 watts online now, so I'm not 100% certain I'm, I'm showing you the same thing here, but I don't think it would have changed that much. Unique feature with this one, so yeah, the price is pretty good, price per watt. Uh, efficiency is okay at two. 
Um, pretty low wattage, 240 watts overall. That's 240 without the UV and far red on it. If you want UV and far red, this is a good solution for you. Um, it has the UVA and additional far red diodes. So we're checking out. If you don't, yeah, it's a bit middling, I'm afraid. Vi Viper Spectra P2000. Again, on the lower wattage side, slightly lower on efficiency at 2.0. Um, with very good price at $170. Uh, and it's very, very good build quality, that light. Really like it. Got everything you need. It's full spectrum, fully assembled. Uh, LEDs are protected, uh, dimmer on board, nice looking light. All of that widely available and easily available. Good light, uh, solid sort of middle ground performer. And as I said, really good purchase price um, for that wattage. Mars Hydro SP3000 has really come on. A few issues with the earlier models a few years ago, but it's really come on. High quality finish now. Uh, 300 watts so on the higher end for this application. Higher, high end of efficiency at 2.2, middle high. Um, and um, yeah, good price uh, for that quality of build and that construction. It's a narrow form of light, so it's a beam, basically, I think it's about 10 centimeters, 12 centimeters, about four or five inches wide, but long. So not the best spread and the best penetration of all the fixtures, but a very good option nonetheless. Um, HLG 350 or Diablo. Lots of people were upset with me because I didn't include this one on the three x three, but it's not for a three x three. It's a big long light. It's actually specified for a five by three, but I've only two lights falling into the five by three category. I'm not really gonna do a separate one for them. So this is in the four by two category, which it will fit, uh, but it will sort of blast you out of it because it's very high efficiency, 2.51 exceptional result. Good dollars per watt, good cost per, per watt. Um, 335 watts delivers the highest uh, power output of all these models. Aside from the chilled again, which I'm sort of putting to the side. So it delivers a very good um, high average power intensity. So if you're looking for really high power, average power intensity, this could be the one for you. Not the cheapest, but good for its efficiency, as I said. Um, not the best fit, fitted light, um, not the best build quality and, and finish in terms of it's pretty basic. Um, you know, it's an LED bore, just basically. Um, uh, riveted onto an aluminium plate, the driver riveted onto the back of it. It's pretty functional and basic, but it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, but it's in the middle. Um, next above it is my own light. So, uh, the Micro Array 4 Plus Red and Pro. As you can see, the little bit um, higher spend on the Pro. Um, delivers in the end, gives you cheaper running cost over the three years, so it's a little bit cheaper. Um, delivers a good spread, it's that guy over there. So it's the largest physical size of light, and uh, very specifically designed for four foot by two foot, so it really spreads the light evenly out over that area. You can get low hanging height because of that spread. You don't get any hot spots. And um, yeah, as I said, it's in the sort of medium to high efficiency, depending on which model you choose. You got dimming on board, um, or rather the, the LED driver has dimming on it, and you can uh, mount that driver remotely. Just now as I think of it, it is unique to, um, to this collection of lights. There's a link, link below for uh, the array range if you feel like checking them out. Next is MaxiSun FMF2000. Really like these lights by MaxiSun. In the budget category, in terms of dollar per watt, they're extremely good value for money. Um, better build quality in terms of this form, which is the um, you know the aluminium uh, cooking tin, as people call it, sort of reflector. Um, that, uh, that with the driver mentioned on the back of those versions, the MaxiSun MF2000, I think, is the best in terms of that mixture of build quality and performance. You got the remote dimming um, available too. And uh, overall, a really solid light. Also stock them, um, so links below if you wanna pick one of those up. 
and uh, yeah, getting near the top now. Last two lights are the Grow 200, which is specifically designed for four foot by two foot, then the Grow 300, which can fit a four foot by two foot, but again, you're blasting it in terms of uh, average power. You're gonna get a very high average power with over a thousand. The Grow 200, 200 watts, very high efficiency, um, 2.36, sort of middling in terms of the total power output, but extremely good um, bang for buck in terms of the cost per watt for this light compared for its efficiency is unbeatable, which is why again, I've partnered with um, Go Light Science to sell their lights too. Go with the website and the shop is to sell the best lights on the market. Um, and that doesn't mean, you know, the most efficient or the cheapest or the most features or the fanciest or whatever. It's really about getting that combination of factors together where it does what every grower needs it to do in terms of its basics, but the lover delivers really good value for money too. So that's the, uh, and quality. That's the, uh, the intention with those. So they're excellent lights. Again, links below. I do rest the world links there for go light science um, who are in the U S and they will ship direct to you or to Canada. So overall a nice selection there. You've got a pretty wide range in terms of like, if you look at the, the dollar per watt, for example, you can be, it's from 78 cent up to $4 per watt. There's a really wide range of, of, of costs and performance there. Um, and hopefully something there to suit your particular needs and uh, what, uh, what you want out of a grow light. More to come. If you want to see the other rest in the series, please subscribe. I think I'm doing the 2x2 two two next, um, which has a lot of lights on. It's going to be a bit longer than this one, I'm afraid, but uh, looking forward to it anyway. Uh, as always, any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Take care.